you love puzzle games? Are you looking for a new puzzle game to play? Do you think I can fit puzzle more times into this introduction? I can. Puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. Today we are reviewing a puzzle game called 200 Ways. And up next, on Mumbles. Hi everyone, Mumbles here. Today's episode of Mumbles, we are reviewing a puzzle-related game called 200 Ways. This is the sequel to a game called 100 Ways. Guess they like being in the hundreds. But is it a good game or not? Let's find out starting with the description. Thy description, I shall thy read 200 Ways is a sequel to the successful brain teaser 100 Ways. Gives puzzle fans twice as many mental challenges to overcome. Mission of each of its 200 levels sound easy. Guide one or more balls to the exit. But levels with up to three different layers and numerous ball traps don't make this task a walk in the park. Luckily, players can use dozens of tools to help them reach their goal, but using more tools means that their level score will go down. Now, at the time of this review, this game is available for Steam, Xbox, and PlayStation for a price of $14.99. We are reviewing this for Xbox, so do keep that in mind with everything that I say coming up. Now we will come to the gameplay section where I get to talk about the puzzles. But before we get into those puzzles, I am going to ask... Please subscribe to Mumbles videos. It really helps me to grow and it just makes me happy. So please, thank you guys all so much for the support. You rock. On to the review. Gameplay wise, this game is very simplistic. Basically, you have a little ball or multiple balls that you have to guide to a goal. To do this, you have to avoid various obstacles that they put in the way. Now, to avoid those various obstacles, you have certain items that you can put down on the playing field to help direct, move, or maybe even jump your ball over certain things. Now, the catch is, each item that you put down on this map will cost you to lower your score. So, it's kind of a balancing act. What can you get away with? What can you have to use? What don't you have to use as you're playing through this game? That pretty much sums up the gameplay section, guys. There's not really a lot to talk about here. It very much is a puzzle game, and that, that very much is what it is. So for our first con today, guys, I have to say that the controls are 100% terrible. I could have used a turd-related pun there or a turd-related word there, but I won't. But it's very much terrible to play control-wise on the Xbox. Now, I would assume because a mouse you can more precisely move things that this problem is not a problem on the PC. But for the Xbox, which is what I'm reviewing it on, it's utterly horrible. It is hard to get your little selection thing to the right square you want. It's easy to move past or over it or around it. And I just did not like at all the way that this thing controlled. The second con is that as you play through this game, you will see that as with a lot of puzzle games out there, this thing does get a bit repetitive. It does add new features as you go through it, but it's always the same thing. And I would have liked to see them change up that formula just a little bit more to make things more interesting, but I'm not gonna superly grade off the score for that. So guys, we come to my all important scores section now. What am I going to give this terribly controlling game on today's episode of Mumbles? I'm gonna do something a little bit different today. Normally I just say, you know, what I like about a game or the score that I would give it as an overall score. But I gotta be honest, because we're looking at a control issue here and it's for Xbox and I am Thinking that the PC is not going to have this problem because you use a mouse and you can, you know, be direct as to which square and stuff you want to use. Xbox-wise, I can only give this thing about a 3 out of 10 because it controls that bad. But as a game itself, like if you were playing this on PC, I would think this game would easily be a, a 6 score on today's episode of Mumbles. But guys, I got I got a 100% back up what I said. Xbox-wise, control-wise... I would not recommend this game at all. It just, the controlling was very annoying and it really took away from the gameplay experience for me. Again, thinking that this isn't a problem on PC. So if you want to get this game, I definitely recommend you check it out on PC. Xbox wise, it gets a three out of 10. PC wise, it gets a six out of 10. So guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. What do you think? Do you think I gave it a fair score? Do you think it's not a fair score? Let me know what your thoughts are, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Please, smack the subscribe button, smack the like button, 
smack all the blood, blood buttons, and I'll see you guys all. Bye, everyone. Take care.